So we've looted the box, all of that. He's not going to worry about it. We're going to pick up our teleport. Let's have a look. We're going to leave this guy alone for now. We've already completed the quest. You've gotten your points for that. We can come back and kill him later if you wish. Now we begin what I call the walk o death. Not the dance o death, the walk o death. And we're going to go and hit every one of the uh, graveyards, systematically of course. And that will wind us back up over here, somewhere right over in this area. Then we'll come down, pick this up, and we'll come back and I'll show you what's going on with that. It's now been one hour and 56 minutes since we started. So what we did, we finished up the mage, we teleported from there to our drop point here, came down, swam, we picked up our teleport on that side of the river, swam over, followed the, str followed the river down, picked up that teleport, shortly after that is a graveyard, we picked up our tank, came back along the river, picked up our other teleport. The reason we want this one is down in this area, there is uh, some grown camps, that we want to harvest later for experience points. So we, that'll give us a quick access down here to these guys. Once we were here, we teleported down to the, the camp, which we picked up much earlier. We swam across. And what you want to look for is th this point right here. You see this little double line, like an X? That's our first one. Then you use this one, as I was saying, as your marker point, and you head down, and right between, if you cross this, this area right here, with that, that's going to be your next graveyard. Now, these two graveyards have more than two taint. Be sure you get all of your taint. Otherwise, you got to go back again. I, I got My cat got up here, and I got off track here. But you should scoot over and pick up the uh, Thieves' Graveyard. Then I come down, hit the road, follow the road down. As you enter the bamboo forest here, be careful. These, anything in here can one-shot you. Easy. You're well, you're well out of your territory. I picked up that teleport, came straight down the road into town, and picked up this teleport. This gives me access to these mages to look for more uh, for more booster cards. This gives me access to these mages and the um, necromancer in town as well as the one out for more booster cards. It gives me access to Cormoran for more booster cards as well as the mages in uh, Cathalon and uh, do the Sir Bargain Sarbakan. So now I have plenty of places to look for my cards. My next thing at this point then is to build my booster cards while harvesting or farming my uh, my fireball cards. So once we've picked up all these graveyards and this, we're going to teleport back to the eastern camp because right over here we've got a graveyard and up here we've got a graveyard. So we're going to go pick up those two graveyards. Currently, we have 19 tank. In the end, we should have 25 in all. All right, I discovered I was two tank short and I went back and looked at my route and realized when we were initially coming down the road to here, we were supposed to stop and grab Ho's graveyard. Okay, which is right after we came around that area where you got to come up and over because it's blocked. So I had to jump back to this teleport, come down and pick it up. It's right south of the Trapper's Hut. 
uh, be careful sometimes some nasty spawn right up in that area but we picked that up and now we have 25 tanked at this point we have our destroy undead and we're building those cards and while we're doing that we're going to start farming our fireballs and as we jump back and forth when we get too much stuff to carry we'll jump back down to here to that guy there and he will be our major source of uh, booster cards for the duration then we want to build about 25 to 30 fireballs once we get that done then we'll come back so we've been grinding for about an hour now grinding should not be anything new to most gamers today you grind dungeons you grind for armor you grind for gear you grind for mounts you grind 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 an hour of grinding is really for gamers to back then it was something serious okay when these games came out but today it's like eh, an hour of grinding and I've got my stuff up I, hey I'll do that so all right we have picked up 24 fireballs we have three destroy undead we have picked up seven mana savers picked up five spell boosters and five damage boosters we're gonna put the majority of these onto our fireball now because we're not gonna we're using this for farming for grinding but we're gonna be using this for leveling and for cash flow we're using 236 so we need almost 400 mana so we don't run out of mana on use so we've got to do our willpower there we go at this point we are at 75 percent and there we hit our 80 percent now we're ready to start using our alchemy so we get something equitable 80 plus is is good we've got up on our lock picking so we will finish these off but now we're able to use the alchemy efficiently and that's the trick using it efficiently because if we had been using the other stuff prior it would have just been useless for us I'm saving those points I want to put those into my alchemy and lock picking when I level up later at this point we are now going to go back to Cormoran. remember that chest that we initially set up I've been making periodic stops and dumping stuff off in there all my permanents and we are going to start using those little puppies so first of all we need these that will raise our dexterity plants create potions pearls unicorn horn beaver fat fox hearts all of these create potions and I know I've got two foxes that are hiding out over uh, at Roven so I want to collect all these up because we're going to start using these in a minute and we want to make sure all of them says permanent because if it's got a time limit on it it will screw up our potions everything needs to be permanent okay there we go now we're going to save let's do some alchemy first we're going to increase our cold increase our fire and that will increase our fire we put four we need five components five 
that gives us a permanent potion that will affect our dexterity, our strength, our protection against fire and cold. Bink. Uh, vitality, strength. This gives us including willpower, so we want that one. Dexterity, three, four. So we're going to use three stones, three, four components. Remember, if it's the same number of components and stones, you're going to get a stone. If it's more stones and components, you're going to get a stone. It has to be more components than it is um, stones for you to get a potion. That's going to increase all of our stats. And if you watch my mana, bam. Now we're going to take our one that's lightning, and that gives us multiple. So we're going to take one of those, our beaver fat, saffron, lavender, and centurium, or centurium are your primary ones. Like this one has a time. I wouldn't want to use that. Plus it creates a poison that will take minus 80 hit points off of me every time I use it. It's not a permanent minus, but it will deduct minus any time that I use it. And for an increase of two in dexterity, it's just these kind of minute things is just useless in long-term calculations. There we go. And we want to get rid of him. At this point now, we are going to go set up our last uh, our last uh, teleport. Now, in the beginning, the easy stuff, we'd set our teleport up here. Here, let me get out of there. We would set our teleport here at this graveyard at Kovengar. However, the graveyard is really small. The max you would be able, as you, if you watch the video, see is we anything over like 12 or 16, the graphics starts lagging out. So we need more space. Now our optimum space for level at this point at the same time is this one here. But the teleport is a bit far away. So we're going to, first we're going to teleport to there. Then we're going to go down, and we're going to set our last stone up over here. And this then will pull these guys in and kill them. And if it's the right ones, we'll use their components oh, as well. Over there. Again, I want to get this away from. really well on skeletons. However, on these guys, it's not as effective. This is where we start using fireballs. There we go. Alright, ghouls are really good. You want to collect as many ghoul brains as possible. Running graveyards will give you levels. It will give you components for your alchemy and it will give you uh, gear. This is real good for stacking gear if you're picking up like bows and so on. They drop lots of bows. Different smaller, like I've been stacking this guy, I'm now instead of at 7 and 13, I'm at 63 and 114. And this is where this comes in. Now we got 7, 2 stone, 7, we got plenty. So we're going to Whoops. We're going to put these up here. 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 Now we're at 557 mana. Now we're at 740, almost 200 more mana. 
just from those seven brains. Nice weather. As you move up using more and more taint at the graveyard, uh, you're going to get more and more brains. That's going to equate to more and more mana. I've already discussed in the previous films about when to drop, how to drop. In this, though, what we want to do, because we've got 25 taint, what I like to do is right here, I will drop two. Then here at this stone, I will drop three. Then this big stone here, right here in this little triangle behind that big stone, I'll drop five. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Then I'll come back here because if you get back here this sort of bottles them in a little bit and it takes them a while to get to you so it gives you uh, more time to deal with the mobs as they come in I'm going to use the same method over here there and then to clinch everything so that they all tra trail each other I'm going to put another batch right here. All right. Closed. Let's try that. There we go. All right. So now we're set up with 25 tanks. We've really got to watch our uh, mana management because these guys will totally overwhelm us at this point. So currently, since our mana is only double, we're using uh, 186 mana. No, we're not. We're using 236 mana. We've only got 746. So we can only get off three shots. We need at least to be able to do 10 to be effective. So what we're going to do is we're going to take up half of these guys. We're going to leave those guys there. these guys a bit more. There's three. Well, you can simply see here. So we had 25. So we've got like 13 out. 